All right, everyone. We are back now with more of Dream Drop Distance 8 HD. We've completed La Cité de Clocks with Sora and Riku. Now we move on to the grid. Yeah, looks like the combat levels increased. Probably because of the fact I did a little bit of extra training. But whatever, we're going to be moving on to the grid with Sora. Ah, uh -uh, new theme. Different theme, actually. Ready? Ready, set, dive! Fight time. We need to defeat Brawlamari. Yeah. Figured it would be this difficult. Ha. Ha. Yeah, Brawlamari can be a real tough as nails opponent. Ha. For obvious ha. reasons. And now comes this part. Yeah. Hit the brakes! Come on, I gotta keep on dishing the pain. Well, that worked. Yeah, the biggest advice when he does that laser thing, then you really need to hit the brakes. Why? So that way you don't get harmed and you can be able to score a few hits in. Yeah, I had a hard time with it earlier, but now I get an idea. But the earlier part, you don't see it because I had to skip it, obviously. Really? Oh, great. So now you decide to pull some movement lessons? Oh, please. Hit the brakes! Gotta keep on dashing that thing. There you go. Goodbye. Jeez, what an annoyance that was. Should have not done that, but now I gotta hit full throttle. Why? To see if we can be able to hit anybody. But if not... Great, then I'll have to skip it and pull it off screen. Well, what do you know? We got A rank. Nice. And getting A rank gets us candy goggles, a training toy, toy that lets you teach your spirits to catch two types of candy at once. Nice. Outfit. Hey, I know where I am. Huh? Whoa! What is that? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grid. And this world's reality shift is code break. Press the buttons next to the glowing words to trigger the, co the code. And yeah, I kind of skipped on most of it, but you pretty much get the idea. Chances are, unlike the 3DS version where you have to use the touch screen, this one you have to use button prompts. Not to say that it's anything bad, mind you. Yeah, not a fun way to start this off, huh? Now let's check this out. And now we gotta deal with a new kind of Dream Eaters. Also, if you haven't figured it out by now, well, pretty much, yeah, it's all cyberspace now. This world is based off the 2010 film, Tron Legacy. Now we got one of them, Switch Targets. Well, this is gonna help us out considerably. But they come like really quick, so you have to make your moves count. Alright, let's try this out. Moving spark. Like so. Nice, got him! But now we need to continue. Well, there are no enemies in sight, so that's a relief. As I already mentioned, this world is based off the 2010 film, Tron Legacy, which is a sequel to the 1982 film, Tron. Which, if you haven't seen, 
I recommend you guys watch it, believe me. It's a groundbreaking classic. A classic that has stood out the edge of time. And yes, we do it for Tron's sake, because he fights for the users. And yeah, I've also got my hands on some new Dream Eaters. You know what, let's do this. And this one we need to pull off three flow motion attacks. Nuts. Come on. There you go. Nice, we gotta do one more. All right, good. Challenge complete. There you go. Now I can actually make it. Or not, depending how lucky I am. All right, good. Now let's see if we can do a little code cracking. Nice. Now prize box. Well, at least we get the prize out of it, so that's a plus. And we leveled up to 18. I hate it when it's all the way up there. Thank you, about time. Yeah, this one's actually a much more annoying challenge. To get Finally. Thank goodness that's over. Good. Let us move on. We can get some confetti candy. And we make it. Let's get this chest here. This nets us another water barrel. Not much here aside from these guys. Yeah, it has the cyberspace vibe. And I remember watching Tron Legacy and it was very good. The acting portrayal was all right, especially when they got Jeff Bridges, the same actor who was in the original Tron. Yeah, how fitting. There was also an animated series called Tron Uprising that was meant to tie it into the two films, but it got kiboshed because Disney probably didn't give a dang. It only lasted one season, and I remember seeing it all on Netflix, and it was a pretty fun show. It made me angry it never ever got a second season. Maybe because Disney management just didn't get it, or it didn't do well in the ratings. It really wouldn't matter to begin with because that would pretty much stick. Ah oh well, let's just move on. Whoa! Oh man! Identify. State your handle, program. I, uh, don't have any handles, but the name's Sora. Verifying handle, Sora. Handle not found. Stray program recognized. Hey! What? Uh... Isolating for quarantine. Whoa there! That is so unfriendly! Uh, eh. Quarantine? More like about to be set for execution. Now our job is to escape the guards. And these guards do not play around. They pack bombs, they pack weapons. They're not like the Dream Eaters though, they're native to this world. And they will make sure you get beat. And I have to add a drop. And they even come in ground and aerial types. Makes me wish I had my blocking counter stuff right about now because I would need that here. But it sh but hey, it sure is better than being in the games. Because the games really wouldn't mean a thing. Yeah, block. Which stinks I can't counter. 
Good thing I got Leaf Racer on me, thanks to my Meow Wow. I gotta level him up so that way we can reach level 25. Yeah, like that. Nice. Wow, that's a lot of damage right there. That was painful at best. Yeah, goodbye. We need to get out of here and fast. Because if not, we'd be screwed. <laughs> Tron, he's alive. Look at that boy's weapon. It's different. But it's something you programmed, right, Dad? Huh? No, Sam. No, I've never seen it. that about hey huh that weapon can I see it oh. this is just incredible what a program the weapon and the wielder program not me this is called a keyblade and I'm Sora I'm Sam so this is like Tron's world, right? You know Tron? I, uh, yeah. I've met him and stuff. Listen, that program you just fought was Tron. What? That was Tron? Tron used to be a good friend. Together, we created this place, the grid. It was something, man. But then Clue staged a coup. I was exiled, and Tron wound up getting derezzed, or so I thought. Clue made him into a new program called Rinsler. That's the thing about programs. Mess with the code just a little, and their whole nature and memory can change. But that's horrible! Hmm. Most of this is over my head. But both Tron and this world do seem pretty different. Still, if that's really the Tron I know, we should change him back. Bingo. And now you're up to speed. If we're lucky, Clue kept a backup of Tron's source code. He's a program, after all. He'd be methodical like that. <laughs> so, if we get Tron's source code back from Clue, we can put him back to normal, right? That's the idea. Great! Thanks, mister. Where are you going? I'm going after Clue. Do you even know where he is? Nope, no idea. What a strange user. You're nothing like Flynn or Sam. Come on, Sora. I'll show you the way. Huh? Cora, we have to keep moving. Yeah. What are you gonna do if Rinsler attacks again? If we're in a hurry, we have to take care of Rinsler first. The two of us can handle him. All right. Do what you can. Maybe you and Sora can help Tron. Dad, no. Relax, Sam. I have a feeling Sora is someone we can trust. Now you and me need to press on. <sighs> okay. Cora, be careful. You too.
All right. It's you and me. You ready, Sora? Yeah. Let's do this, Korra. Clue should be at the helm of his battleship, the Rectifier. We can get there with a solar sailor from the underground docks. What's this? A keyblade. Yep, that was Clue. We obtain Counter Rush. Counter Rush and Counter Aura are counterattacks used after blocking an enemy attack. Press X right after a successful block to strike back. Counter Rush and Counter Aura must be installed underneath a block command. Good. What we just met was Clue. And Clue looks exactly like the main protagonist of Tron, Flynn. No, that's because, yeah, he's basically like a clone program. And like I mentioned, Flynn, the main protagonist in the film, the original film Tron, was portrayed by Jeff Bridges, a well-respected actor who has done not only many hero roles, but also villain roles too, like Obadiah Stane in the first Iron Man film with Robert Downey Jr. But I like him best as the dude from The Big Lebowski. Obviously, that goes without saying. Oh, come on. Why do I keep getting... My, why are my attacks keep getting interrupted? It doesn't help that I gotta deal with all these enemies. I just want to make sure I get the job done. These owls are no joke. Ow, ow, ow. And I'm trying to train Flabberjockey for one simple reason. Why? So I can get Balloonra and then I can make the game ridiculously easy. Move and spark. Yeah, but they now come a lot faster. Compared to the 3DS version where it's a bit slower due to graphical limitations, this just fast and quick. Simple, fast, end of the point. We just gotta take down these Kabuto. And let's see. Ah, oh, great, after three attempts, it'll fail. So you have to be careful. Alright, almost got him. We just got one more and that should do it. So much for his shell. Fine, let's do this. Switch target. Now, if I like more than overriding code just to screw them up. Or not, because it, I become an idiot sometimes. Alright, good. That takes care of them all. Let's get ourselves healed up and be on our way. And I remember watching Tron Legacy. It was a pretty good film. For a sequel to the 1982 film, if it stood on its own, it was alright. But hey, even a film like that has its flaws. And Quora is an ISO, or an ISO, basically like the next generation type of program. And Clue kind of freaked out a bit because the ISOs were basically taking over, and he staged a coup that systematically did mass genocide of the ISOs, which is sad and messed up. And basically Quora is the last one. In a world where ISOs are almost like non, like extinct, because they offer like so more, they're basically a breakthrough, a revolutionary program that would do so much more. And just the Baki's level 17. Neil, thank you. Yeah, have a taste of Sparkra. Very good. Not bad. These save points are everywhere. This game pretty generous. Let's board ourselves the Solar Sailor.
And we're gonna be in for a long ride. Now we need to make our way to the first car, provided we can survive everything else that comes our way. I'm hoping that later on down the line I gotta grind just to get combo plus. So that way I can be able to dish out more damage this way. Good, that spark die was essential. And so was this. Excellent. Now what else I gotta deal with? Oh, I don't know, how about this? Time to commence the most important rule of all. Auto. Destruct. Nice, we just unlocked another car. And also unlocks the rest of the way. But it never hurts to explore around and find the remaining items. And yeah, level like levels like these can get big and huge, which means you have to like find everything just to like 100% all the chests. Oh my god. Nice. And we also gain an affinity up for the prickle main. Okay, you know the drill, right? Auto, destruct. Destruct, auto. And sometimes it happens in reverse. Nice, we also get a panacea for our trouble. Oh, nice. Now we get three chests. One. Two. And the big one. And we get Balloonra, which is gonna make this ridiculously unfair. Although I wonder if they've nerfed Balloonra, surprisingly. Nice, now that we have Balloonra on our use, we can actually now make this more unfair than it already is. Though having an entire row of Balloon cards would be just wrong in so many ways. Screw you, auto destruct. Destruct, auto. And at least with simple button presses, it's easier. Compared to how it was, like, I, I don't know, in the original Kingdom Hearts for the 3DS, you have to use the touch screen. I really am gonna give this game a bit of credit that the guys behind it, Square Enix, actually made it a little bit easier for players instead of just relying on simple gimmicks and stuff like that, then we could just do a simple other thing. Like, just a button press and not be doing it. Switch target, engage, and assist. Assist, ah, uh, you know what, screw it, assist this. Okay, auto-destruct again. Auto-destruct. There's also a price shot. But I already inputted price shot. There's actually a trophy in this game. We have to activate all the commands. And sometimes these commands can do a lot of things. Like force it to self-destruct, force it ally. Side you. You name it. it. Does a lot. And that's what makes it cool. Right, we made it. Now we gotta infiltrate the throne ship and rescue Tron. Or will we? Yeah, thank you. But at least I don't suffer any additional damage aside from a stun. Which, truthfully, I need to have stun block on. Excellent. Now to take care of this. Excellent. That one, well. And yeah, the draw speed is somehow increased, which is why I need to in use a drop me knot. Just to stay alive. Not that way, but we'll have to go the other way. And yes, I'm a bit over level for this, but does it really matter by this point? No, it doesn't. No. There you go, switch target. Take down the nightmares, please.
Hey, what are, where are you going? Get back here. Oh my god. Where did it go? Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, goodbye. At least there's a chest here. And yeah, there are also some chests up here. Here, eat this. Oh my god, I'm trapped in zero gravity? While I'm suffering damage? Lame. Heal. Thank you, Leaf Bracer. I also got, I gotta make sure to get Curega by then. Once I do, then I can literally have fun. Excellent. And we get a shield cookie. Well, nothing else here. Aside from more dream ears. Sora's now level up to level 20. Fine, I'll just freeze you to death with a nice attack. Fair enough. Now we're reaching the higher levels. Wait, were there any down here? No, there isn't. Yes, there is, actually. Let's take care of that. Yeah, good riddance to that. More paint guns. And ice cream cones. The game's getting way too generous with this. And take that. Good. Goodbye. Not here. Keep this. Let's see you try your luck with this. Nothing I like more than rewriting code. Good. Wait, is there anything down here? Yeah, I never heard to check. Wait, I already been through there. Wait, it just got confusing now. There's at least a save point and a shop we can use. But it never hurts to check. Eh, nothing significant. But Dream Eaters are afoot. Yeah, now let's screw around with it. Let me open this first. Alright, fine. Let's try a little bit of a moving spark. And then set it to self-detonate. Like that. Alright, let's hardwire this thing. Transport. All right. 
least that worked. Let's go. And it's now led us to the other side? That's not much of a transport, but whatever. I'm alright with it. Now let's move on. There's a big chest here. Let's see what we'll get out of it. Nice, we get the recipes to create a cyber yacht. I wonder if it means we can get our hands on some exclusive ones. Well, I'm alright with that. We see what we need to see. Now let's move. We're back here now. Oh yeah, we have to yeah. take this up here. Alright, let's take the elevator. You sure we'll find Tron's source code here? <laughs> it's not here. Maybe Clue has it with him. Sora, let's look elsewhere. Alright. Cora, let me talk to Rinsler. A little heart to heart might jog his memory. He's a program, Sora. Programs don't have hearts. That's not true. The Tron I remember, he had something. Hey, you used to be called Tron, right? Clue did something to you to mess with your memory. You're a little confused, but that's okay. Come on. Remember, Tron! I don't think Rinsler is quite the friend you remember. He just needs time, that's all. Quora! Tron, don't! <laughs> Tron, why? That's what we do. Put the most precious <sighs> memories in the back of our minds where they're safe. Or in your case, the most precious hearts? Not you again! The memory and heart are tightly linked. Oh, Samus! Rub a few memories together, and you get a spark of emotion, a feeling. But in a digital world, memory does not work like that. Nothing is ever felt. You can hold a thousand, a million times the information, but there is still no heart with which to parse it. Once, my master, Ansem, found an old system and made a copy of its master control program and used it to serve his own ends. This is the original data of that system. Here, data can be copied. Oh. Memory can be changed and easily manipulated. Tron is a digital entity, so why would he be any different? He obeys the rules of this world. Sora, 
What about you? Me? Your heart, memories, your data, and your dreams. The bits and bytes that have made up your life so far. Can you say for sure they are not just copies of someone else's? Yes! My memories and feelings belong to me! You had better check. Make certain the box's contents match what's on the label. Since you have been chosen, Chosen for what? You think this is the realm of dreams, but there you are mistaken. Data does not dream, cannot dream. <laughs> this world is real. You haven't the slightest idea where you are, that you have already wandered off the path. What do you mean? <laughs> wow. First Ansem Seeker of Darkness and now Xemnas? What in the world? Combatant 13 versus Rindler. <sighs> Greetings, Sora. I've been waiting. Who are you? I am Clue. <gasps> so it was you. You're the guy who turned Tron into Rindler. Correct. I had to repurpose his code. Well, unrepurpose it. Yes. Under the right parameters, I might. Huh? You have a little item called a Keyblade. It can open any lock, isn't that right? Hand it over, and I'll change Rinsler back into Tron. The Keyblade? I... I can't. This is what lights the darkness. A chance to make everyone happy! Ha! <laughs> Flawed reasoning. I'll have to take it by force. Tron! Why can't I get through to you? Fight, Sora! <gasps> Korra! You're okay! I can't believe it! Yes. I think Tron heard you. Long enough for me to escape. You can do it! You can get through to him! Sora! You have to fight him! But, Korra! How can I...? You have that key! It will bring him to his senses! I'll try! Let's go, Tron! I swear, Sora, you're being more of a goody good, and it gets me upset. Tron, why must we have to fight you? Tell me, why? We take on Rinsler, and Rinsler is no pushover here. When what's worse about this is that he will not hesitate to kick your butt. This, this is the fight where you have to implement block encounters. It's the only way, truthfully. Yeah, because every time you block the attack, you'll have an opportunity to counter and strike back. You can actually spend the entire fighting blocking and countering everything he does. And you'll actually win. Oh no. Now everything goes upside down. Like I said, the fight's not that hard. Fine, unison rush! 
And we're gonna need all the strength we can get, mind you. Although it won't hurt as much, it'll be enough. Wow, that actually hit a lot of damage. I gotta admit. Uh oh. Like I said, this fight isn't that hard. You just need to take advantage of blocking and countering. Other than that, not much else to say. Other than the fact that it still stinks that we have to destroy, meet someone who we consider a friend. It won't matter because this fight is done. Tron, please forgive us. We get a max HP increase and some new drop bonuses. Deal with you later. I have to retrieve Rinsler. He reached for my hand. Tron is still in there. You and that key have a special power. So do you. Power to make me see it. So, does that mean we're friends? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> what if my memories aren't my own? No, I gotta be like Tron. Maybe we're walking the wrong path, but our hearts will lead us back to the truth. Sora, sheesh, we obtained the dual disc, and no, this has nothing to do with the Yu-Gi-Oh dual discs. It's a keyblade that provides an extra boost in strength and makes it easier to land critical hits. Man, how emotional, but in truth, this is just one half of the story, and I do mean that, one half. We unlock the Flick Rush Digital Cup. And that's going to be it for this part of Kingdom Hearts HD Dream Drop Distance. Next time, we're going to see things through on the other side with Riku and hopefully finish this story. If you enjoyed this video, and I'm hoping you guys are, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. And I will see you guys next time. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.